welcome back to Pets on Parade. Now, the Arizona Humane Society literally could not run without the help of our volunteers. From thrift to cleaning out kennels. And of course, right here on Pets on Parade, this show wouldn't run without our great volunteers, too. And we are in desperate need of dog walkers right now at all of our locations. And speaking of dog walkers, we have an walker extraordinaire, Chris Baps, joining us. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been with the Arizona Humane Society? I have. It's been eight months for me, so I started in January. Nice. Okay, so pretty soon. Now, there are so many organizations that need help, that need volunteering. What inspired you to help the Arizona Humane Society specifically? Yeah, so I was drawn to the Arizona Humane Society, uh, mostly because they deal with sick and injured animals. So there were several other animal shelters much closer to my residence, um, but I couldn't pass at the opportunity to help the sick and injured animals. Oh my gosh, well we thank you so much for choosing us. And now, can you take us through the process of becoming a volunteer? So, what did you have to do? How did you sign up? And how did you eventually land on dog walking specifically? Sure. It's quite easy actually. Um, believe it or not, I was actually home for Christmas break and pulled out an iPad and was able to do all the online training <laughs> uh, just over a couple days, uh, like I said, at home for Christmas. I uh, came back here and had uh, several shifts where you kind of get introduced to how to make treats, how to clean the kennels, get used to the animals, um, and then you move into your dog walking training and um, several of those shifts and then you're, you're free to be a dog walker and you, you practice your, your trade and get better. So um, specifically, just, would you ask me if I chose, why I chose yeah, dogs? Like why you chose dog walking in particular? I just love dogs, <laughs> honestly, for me. Any animal's great, but I really love dogs. Um, I'm physically active and so for me, I got to do it once. I, and what a great opportunity. That's amazing, yeah. And it looks like the dogs love you too. And now we're definitely in need of all dog workers, but especially at our campus for Compassion location. If you guys are early morning birds out there and you're able to come down and sign up. Now, Chris, what has been the most rewarding aspect of volunteering in your eight months with us? So for me, what I've been impressed by is the resiliency of the animals. So a lot of the animals, like I mentioned, are sick injured or maybe weren't treated how they should be treated by their prior owners. Mm -hmm. um, but all they want is love and attention. And so it's pretty cool to be able to give them that love and attention until they find their forever home. So to me, there's nothing more rewarding than that. Of course, yeah. And so what would you say for anyone who's maybe on the fence, have been thinking about coming down and volunteering, what would you say to them to get them out and helping our, our little furry friends? I would say just come out and do it and you'll never regret it. And you know, if you come see the little cute faces we have here and hang out with some of the dogs, I don't think you'll ever regret your decision. Oh my goodness. Well, we are so thankful for everything that you've done for our little ones and we hope to have you for years to come. And if you guys are looking to volunteer, make sure to sign up at azhumane.org slash volunteer. There are so many different ways to be able to help the furry friends at AHS. And make sure to keep it locked in right here to Pets on Parade. We're going to introduce you to this little mama after the break.